Hey guys, I'm Ling Ling and I'm just a Danish girl who is totally a sucker for China, 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 China. So I have been thinking a lot about what should be my first topic to cover uh, in this little series of how to survive China. Um, but I actually I haven't gotten to I haven't I have no idea what I should start with because I already wrote down all my ideas and I have like 50 of them. I'm sorry guys, yeah, this is gonna be a long series. Anyway, so I still don't know which one is the most important one because people like so when I go to China, what should I do? How can I get around? Can I talk to people? You know, there are so many things to cover. So actually, I think today we're just gonna do it like relaxed and slowly. I'm just gonna tell you how I went to China the first time. The thing is, when I was in Denmark in my last year of high school, I was so tired of everything. Like, it was so boring here. I was sitting at my desk trying to get through my homework. In school, I was trying to get through the classes. I thought everyone around me was just so boring. I was just tired, 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 you know? So I was like, what am I supposed to do? And one day I won this book in a game. Um, it was around Christmas and I had a lot of time on my hands. So I started to read this book and it was so interesting. This book was about this young girl coming from America. She was going to China for the first time and she was like, very nervous, she had no idea what was going on. So she went to China and she was with her husband and her husband wasn't very nice to her. So she just grew up. She just had to be strong, independent and she got some Chinese friends, learned Chinese. And I was just like, wow, that's amazing. I wanna go myself. Like I thought I'm gonna go to China and find some warrior out in the desert and in the Mongolia, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, that, that was my first thought when I read this book and I was, uh, yeah, I was so ready to go. So I checked it out online, I talked to some friends, they told me about this agent in town and I contacted her and, uh, but then I started reading some other books about Mao Zedong, the Chinese chairman before. Um, he was good in the beginning, but during his time as a chairman, he did some really, really bad things as well. I'm not gonna get into that, uh, cause it's a, massive topic but anyway so I was like wow it's crazy like China's crazy I don't think I'm gonna go anyway so I thought I would go to America instead but then my dad set me up with this girl who had just come home from China and she was so small and skinny and I was like if this little girl can do it if she could go to China and like teach English and be all independent, how can I not? I have to. I was like, I need to do this. So I just, I went to talk to this agent and I bought my ticket and actually like six months later, I was just on a plane to China. And the first time I landed there, I was like, whoa. Like everything was just crazy. Like I got to this, uh, when I landed in the airport, like it's massive. Like in China, everything is just really big. Like I'm from Denmark. Denmark is really small and not that many people. When you come to China, it's just like boom in your face. And I had to speak English all the time. I, I heard Chinese. I had no idea what they were talking about. Luckily, like when you get to the airport, um, there were some people picking us up. So we were not gonna like take the metro or anything. We were on the bus and we were driving to uh, a university and then I was going to stay there for a month and learn how to teach English in China. And uh, woo woo woo, that's <laughs> another story. That's a very, very long, long story. Um, but anyway, I was there and I was really excited. Yeah, that's how me and China's love story started. August 2011 and now that's a long time ago and we're still here, not really, I'm in Denmark right now, but I'm going back to China definitely and China is always in my plans and always in here and in my heart. Okay, that's a little too romantic. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm just gonna drink my green tea, yeah. <laughs> anyway, just saying, you know, if you wanna go to China, just go for it. It's not that hard. Thank you.